Hi guys, welcome at Bruges Marine Center. Today we are doing a very special walk around video of two of our smallest boats in our showroom. It's called the Salpa Soleil 18 and the Salpa Soleil 20. Let's take a closer look. So here we are at the Salpa Soleil 20 and as you can see in the front, we have a huge sun deck that is separated by different parts of cushions. There are in total five cushions that can be demounted and you can store them inside the hatch underneath. The space here in between uh, the console and the sun deck, you can close with uh, two cushions. I'm going to show you how that works. So we have actually here a huge hatch where we can store all the cushions inside. So and here we have still in the wrapping, of course, they are not used yet. The two cushions that can close this part of the boat. It's a very easy system. And the other one fits right here. So here you have the complete closed sand deck in the front and you just can step on it. And of course, you can use it as sun deck area as well. So comparing to the Salpa Soleil 20, the Salpa Soleil 18, where we are now situated, of course, has a smaller sun deck, but the space is not that different as the Salpa Soleil 20. We have also these two cushions uh, in the front and these two separate cushions in between the console and the sun deck. The only difference at the Salpa Soleil 18 is of course that we have here an extra seat with some storage space. At the Salpa Soleil 20, uh, that space is just uh, against the console without this extra hatch here inside. It's very easy to uh, open and close the sun deck. So you can just fit these two cushions and then you have again your sun deck space in the front that goes till the console. That's a very nice um, and huge sun deck for a boat uh, just underneath the six meters. So here we are at the front of the boat. As you can see, it's similar to its bigger brother, the Soleil 20. Um, it has at the sides, of course, the two clamps to uh, uh, fasten your ropes uh, for mooring. The finishing of this one is also with this uh, GRP uh, anti-slip diamonds uh, integrated in the GRP. You can have it with a flexi teak as well, of course, but that's an option. And the hatch, it's very easy to open where you get access inside the anchor locker. Um, there is even a roller to get your ropes um, very easy uh, out or in. So. Um, it's very easy to, to anchor this boat as well. And you have enough space to put even two or three anchors inside this hatch. It's a huge space. Um, and if you don't need it, of course, you can close it and you can use it as a stepping surface to throw out your ropes as well. So that's a very safe and nice finishing on this Salpa Soleil 18. So we are now at the bow of this Salpa Soleil 20. And as you can see here, uh, the hard bow uh, from GRP is outfitted with two clamps at the side. Very easy to uh, put on your ropes to moor. And of course the finishing here is with this very nice flexi uh, finishing. It's also anti-slip, so that means that you can step on with uh, bare foot. Underneath the hatch there is an access to put in your anchor. Um, this boat is mostly outfitted with a uh, manual anchor. That means that there is a roller to get your rope uh, underneath it and just throw your anchor. It can also be outfitted with an electric anchor, but that uh, happens not a lot on this model because the boat is not that heavy. You can just close the hatch and then you have a very nice finished bow of this boat. So here we are at the dashboard of this Salpa Soleil 20. Of course, we, have, we haven't finished this uh, installation yet, so you won't see a lot of accessories on this boat. But uh, what we can show you is, of course, the very nice steering, steering wheel from Salpa, finished with leather look and stainless steel uh, spokes. We have also this very nice dashboard at the side 
where you, of course, can operate all your electronics, uh, water inside, uh, stereo installation, and so on, with the special fuses as well. We have this 12 volt um, um, socket to load your uh, phone or to plug in a GPS. We have this socket as well. This is for the uh, lightning. We have a lightning pole uh, as navigation light, of course. We have the compass and that's it for this model. But as you can see, the dashboard is very nice, wide, and you have enough space to even integrate a huge uh, card plotter inside. Um, what we can tell more is, of course, this very nice uh, stainless steel handle around the windscreen. And if you're uh, behind the windscreen, you will notice that the wind goes above your head. And that's a very nice protection, of course, against the wind. Uh, at this model, you will see that we have only one passage at the side. So actually this side is closed because the console is situated in this uh, right side, stern. And here we have the access to go to the front and the back. Now we're going to tell you some more about the leaning post as well. So the leaning post is actually just a flat surface without any uh, protection for your back. But they have solved it by putting here an extra support. That means that actually you can have a very nice uh, leaning post that uh, also uh, supports your back. And in driving position, you can just uh, use uh, the leaning post as uh, seating uh, and leaning post as well. If you don't need it, you can just click this support away and then you can close this hatch. Of course, underneath it, it's also uh, the wet bar. So that means that we have here fresh water. We have here the fuel uh, input where you can fill your tank. It's an integrated tank of 90 liters inside. We are here situated at the dashboard of the Salpa Soleil 18 and as you can see it's similar to the Salpa Soleil 20 of course. It has the same steering wheel with uh, the leather look and the stainless steel uh, spokes. And of course we have here at the side as well the electronic panel and an open console uh, dashboard that means that you can integrate all your electronics inside. What's the difference with uh, this uh, Salpa Soleil 18? is uh, mostly situated here at the windscreen. As you can see, the windscreen is a little bit higher uh, than his uh, bigger model, the 20. And it has this uh, stainless steel uh, railing around where you can hold on on every position, uh, not like the Salpa Soleil 18, where the stainless steel handle is just situated on the windscreen. Here is a little bit a different design um, it's a new model as well, just came out last year. And uh, another difference is of course also the uh, leaning post. If you compare it to the Salpa Soleil 20, the leaning post uh, has an, another angle. That means that it is already in the position uh, um, which you can put the leaning post on the Salpa Soleil 20 with the support that we showed. This one is already in this position, so that means that you already have this support of your back uh, without doing anything. At the feet, there is a small support for the feet as well, so you can just put your feet on this support to get a better grip from your uh, steering wheel and your uh, driving uh, positions, of course. We have here at the side, uh, again, the 12 volt socket where you can, um, of course, plug in some electronics and we have even a uh, uh, holder, uh, holder net to put in your phone or your keys that it doesn't get out of the boat with a small hatch as well, just to get access in this area where you can put in some stuff. And of course, here in this area as well. The leaning post can just be opened. There is just some space inside where you can put in some stuffs. If you don't need it, you can of course close it again very easily. So here we are at the back of the Salpa Soleil 20. And as you can see, we have outfitted this area as a uh, sun deck. Because you have protection at the side of the cushions, you can just use this space actually also as a support of your back. And you can just lay here in the sun 
against the seat. If you want to convert this area to a seating area, it's very easy. Uh, you have just to pull out these two small cushions. And then we have actually this part with this support that just fits in in this area. And with the scratches, you can leave this without uh, getting out of the boat. And then you have your very nice seating area as well, where you can actually sit three with three or four people uh, around the table. And the table is just situated against the wet bar. There is a support that you can open and just click. And then you have your um, table as well where you can, we can put some drinks. If you use anti-slip cups, this table is good enough to hold them. If you don't need the table, of course, you can just pull down, click, another click, and then the table is gone. So that's a very nice feature on this one. If you want to extend your sand deck, there is even a possibility to lay this uh, backrest to the back as well. I'm gonna show you how easy that is. So I'm gonna just make the sun deck again to give you a better idea. So there you are, how easy that really is. And then you have that extra space to lay here. And imagine you open the bimini as well. Then you can lay here in the south the whole day without getting sunburned. Now we're gonna take a look to the back of the boat with the swimming platforms as well. Let's follow me. And of course, another good feature from this boat is the back of the boat. As you can see, we have at both sides very huge swimming platforms that are um, finished with this very nice flexi teak. When the engine is situated in the middle, you have still the space to get from one side to the other side, and you have enough space to just walk around here at the sides here as well. At this side, there is uh, an integrated ladder inside the platform with this very nice grab handle. That means that you can get very easy in the boat and in the water, what's very nice from this uh, Salpa Soleil 20. So now we're going, we're going to open this Bimini to give you an idea how, uh, um, how much it covers the boat and how much it protects you from the sun when you're in the boat. Let's open the Bimini now. So as you can see, we are well protected uh, with this Bimini. It goes well to the back and of course, almost till the windscreen of the console. That means uh, that there are uh, extra uh, uh, attachments to the front of the boat. And then you can just lay underneath your Bimini even when you're navigating the boat. You're well protected from the sun. And of course, at the sun deck side as well, uh, you have that uh, needed protection uh, with that very nice Bimini. So it's very easy to open and very easy to close. So here we are at the back of the boat. Um, as you can see, this space is similar to the Salpa Soleil 20. It has also the integrated uh, table here with an extra support to get it fixed. And also the width of this boat is actually uh, almost similar. You can sit here with three or four people around this uh, table. It's very easy to get the table away. You can just click it beneath, uh, uh, behind this uh, small uh, leaning post. And also the back of the boat is actually similar uh, with the system of the supporting uh, seat that you can just pull out. And by adding these two cushions, you create a very nice sun deck as well. They just fit to make this surface uh, flat. And then you can use this as seating area, laying area, 
uh, sand deck area and everything. The backrest of this goes behind as well. It's a very easy clicking system. Just pull out. And there it is, the very nice sand deck. So now we are here at the back of the boat uh, where we are situated on the swimming platforms. As you can see, the swimming platforms on this boat are not finished with teak, but just the GRP with anti-slap uh, diamonds on it. It's uh, a very nice uh, surface to walk on, very safe. And even when the uh, engine is situated in the middle, you have still this passage to go to the sides as well. And here we have the ladder that is not integrated in the platforms but uh, uh, situated on it. You can just flip it open and then you can see that you will have a very nice uh, four step uh, ladder with two handles at the, each side to get very easy in the boat or go swimming. Uh, also on this boat there is an option of a shower system. That means that we have this house where you can just wash off your uh, body or even the boat. There is an integrated uh, freshwater tank as well uh, inside the boat. And it's very easy to get back the house inside if you don't need it. So what's the huge difference between the Salpa Soleil 18, Salpa Soleil 20 and other uh, boats on the market? It has everything to do with the hull, of course, because the Salpa Soleil 18 and the Salpa Soleil 20 have a uh, stepped hull technology. That means that there is a step in the hull uh, to get the uh, boat uh, faster through the waves, uh, higher in the waves, and of course to get less friction on the hull and more air underneath it. Uh, to have better um, driving experience and as you can see here of course in the front of the boat the two boats are very narrow at the front to cut through the waves here you can see it at the Salpa Soleil 18 but you can see the same uh, thing on the Salpa Soleil 20 as well um, so the hulls are very deep very narrow uh, almost a sport hull uh, for this family boat and that makes this boat very special on the market comparing to other boats. So now some specifications about the Salpa Soleil 18. The Salpa Soleil 18 is 5 meters 99 in length. It has a beam of 2 meters 54 inflated with the tubes. Um, it can have an engine uh, of a maximum of 115 horsepower. It can only uh, be outfitted with a single installation engine. Um, and it has um, an integrated um, fuel tank of around 90 liters, uh, that, that's an option of course. Um, so now some specifications about the Salpa Soleil 20. Uh, the boat has a total length of 6 meters 40, it has a beam of 2 meters 55, it has a, a dry weight from around 800 uh, kilos. Um, it can have uh, eight people on board uh, by the homologation of this one. It can be outfitted with a maximum of 150 horsepower, like uh, this boat uh, will be outfitted. Um, and of course, it has an integrated uh, fuel tank of 90 liters as well, uh, uh, as optional uh, ch uh, choice, of course. And uh, it can have a, a shower system inside, integrated uh, behind. Um, with this fresh water tank as well. Uh, so it's a very nice uh, family model uh, for uh, vacations uh, here in the north or even uh, in the south of Spain uh, because you have a lot of space inside and of course you can use the spaces on the boat in different ways by making them a sun deck uh, area or a seating area. Um, so what's a very nice feature of this Salpa Soleil 20 as well. I hope you liked watching our videos, um, we'll be posting some more videos later on. Uh, if you like our channel, uh, please subscribe or just like our videos and uh, we will see each other in the next uh, uh, walk around video from other boats. Thank you very much for watching and see you later, bye bye.